Before installing your Discord bot, we'll need, of course, go ahead and create the bot for Discord first at the Discord developer portal, which is going to be at discord.com slash developers. Sign in, and this should be the screen you get brought to. If you can buy the documents, so we just click the applications button right here in the sidebar. Next thing you do is, of course, click on new application and give your bot a name. and then click create. After that, head over to bot in the sidebar and click on add bot and click on yes I do. Now that the bot has been created, we can go install the bot server. Of course, we need to go and create it first so that we access it to the panel. So let's go to our client first, which is gonna be at client.filewithnote.net and you wanna go over to the sidebar and click on create server. Give it a name, and then choose a location and click create. Usually the default model RAM is already good enough for a Discord bot. Once created, head over to your panel, which is going to be at gp.followsnode.net, and then go and click on your Discord bot. And the console, go ahead and click on start. And then go ahead and choose Discord Bot Hosting. This is going to be number 5. Then choose Discord, which is going to be number 1. After that, the, the server will restart. And now here, we're going to choose 9 to install Node.js packages from package.json. We do not have our package.json file uploaded yet. So before continuing anything in the console, Go to your file manager and upload your bot files. On the file manager, go ahead and just click on the blue upload button. I'm going to upload the index.js file, which is where all the coding is. And then the package.json file, which is very important to have. Now if we go back to console, we can go and choose 9 again. In this case, it's going to be installing discord.js. After installing the Node.js packages from our package file, we can actually choose one this time. And now it's going to be asking the path to the main file. Usually something like the name of your bot.js or in my case, index.js. And now the bot has been logged in. So now if I head over to my Discord server, I'm going to go ahead and or just type in a command. In this case, this is about respond with ping and we'll play back with pong. 